Hi guys, Meg Twin here. Just wanted to show you real quick in a little short video. I have a, a quest system and a dialogue manager set up. I'm trying to get the primary portions of it set up so that I can continue making this game. I press play here. And she goes over here. And this is the dialogue part. Where he says his cat's up on the roof. And then, of course, if you click it again, he's going to say you got him and you haven't even given him the cat. So i got to figure that part out. And then, um, let's see. Okay, this is the quest part where he says, can you get my cat? He's up on the roof. And she goes, <laughs> I don't know why she bounces off of those like that. I don't have any bouncy, I have bouncy material on her, but not, not the triggers so I don't know all right oh there's a the cat up on the roof and see it says oh you found my cat and I got to find a way to make it not say that until after she actually comes back down here and then talks to the boy so and then everything starts all over again the dialogue manager is mainly for running into NPCs that just you know tell her stuff so I kind of have it both set up on the boy right now just to primarily get it set up for other stuff in the game. So that's it. That's what I've been working on. So I gotta find a way to to uh, <coughs> do the dialogue better and not have it show up until after she comes back to him with the cat and then maybe have the cat appear to his left. So keep on watching and I'll keep on progressing. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.